This is lesson one, how to store Bitcoin securely. In this lesson, we'll be going over the crucial element of storing your Bitcoin in a safe manner and protecting it from very smart hackers. Let's begin. Securing your Bitcoin is probably one of the most important aspects a cryptocurrency enthusiast and a holder can understand because if you don't understand how to store your private key which unlocks your Bitcoin representation on the network securely you can be sure that there are some smart cookies out there who will find a way to infiltrate what you're doing and they will swipe your money before you even know what happens now as we were discussing each Bitcoin wallet carries with it a private key and a symmetrical public key and the private key is this the thing you want to protect above anything your private key is your representation on the Bitcoin network and whoever holds it controls the money now you never want to share your Bitcoin private key with another party unless you fully trust it there are many options for holding your private key including web wallets hardware wallets and many more a web wallet is a situation where your private key is on a web server this is probably the most risky and most often compromised way of storing your Bitcoin and your private key and in most cases I would not recommend it a hardware wallet is a more specialized application where the private key is on a hardware device itself and if you look at the picture at the bottom this device is a Trezor Bitcoin hardware wallet and on that device is stored your private key and this is something many Bitcoin enthusiasts are moving towards as it is much safer than storing your private key on a web server and a web wallet in the situation of a desktop and a mobile wallet this can differentiate between uh, a web wallet and a hardware wallet but oftentimes the private key is on the device itself which may or may not be connected to the internet when we're storing our private key there's the concept of cold storage versus hot storage and hot storage would describe storing your private key on a device which is connected to the internet while cold wallets are on a device not connected to the internet in almost every situation it's a better choice to keep your money on a device which is not connected to the internet and in cold storage this is because if your private key is on a device not connected to the internet there is essentially no bridge or a very small attack surface a hacker can potentially reach your private key and compromise your money highly recommend to keep your private key in cold storage and also divide your funds among multiple wallets do not consolidate a hundred percent of your Bitcoin holdings in one wallet or one address in situations where using hot storage is viable is when you're quite sure that you're about to spend your money whether it be keeping it on your phone or keeping it on your computer keeping your money in hot storage is recommend to keep only small amounts and amounts which you intend to soon spend now one of the forms of backing up our wallets is known as a paper wallet and paper wallets are used to store your private key in the physical world something you need to be careful of but usually highly recommended if you ever lose your private key say you refat format your hard drive or you erase some data on your computer if you haven't written down your private key or recorded it somewhere that access to your Bitcoin on the Bitcoin network is gone and there's essentially no going back one of the ways to back up this private key is by printing out or writing out a paper wallet and on the right we see an example of a paper wallet which has recorded on it the Bitcoin address and the allocated private key 
when scanning, you never want to share your private key with anyone. And indeed, people who have paper wallets have displayed it on live television and had some of the viewers immediately steal their Bitcoin, although they gave it right back. But this demonstrates the importance of not sharing your private key anywhere. One of the best ways to secure your wallet is not only through backing up a paper wallet, but using two-factor authentication. And two-factor authentication usually entails either verifying login credentials through a smartphone or through your email account so that if a hacker potentially knows your password, they need more verification than that. They also need access to your email or they need access to your smartphone. Two-factor authentication is highly recommended when storing Bitcoin. And one of the best ones to take a look at is Google Authenticator. Another tip for securely storing your Bitcoin is keep your operating system clean. This is essentially how hackers get into your system and infiltrate your data, is downloading email attachments from people you don't know and trust me there are people who make emails look absolutely legitimate and once that file or once that program is downloaded on your computer somebody can infiltrate your Bitcoin wallet extremely quickly always check the URL a web page is being broadcast from as there are phishing attacks which will essentially copy the source code of a legitimate and credible web page and make it look the exact same although it's being broadcast from an entirely different source and an entirely different server. Don't trust anything from an untrusted source and always be slightly paranoid of email attachments. Hackers are definitely smart. You need to be just as smart or smarter. This brings us to the conclusion of our lesson today and in our lesson go ahead and make a Bitcoin paper wallet. One of the best ways to do this is by using bitaddress.org where you can generate on the spot a new Bitcoin wallet and private key and then print it out. That's all for today. We'll see you in the next lesson.